Chelsea six, Everton nil. Um, look, we've just we've just been torn to pieces. That wasn't football. That was murder. That it was a horrendous display of football from Everton. There was no, there was nothing to us. You know, there were some times where we would uh, do really good when Chelsea were in possession in their final third. We'd close down the ball, we'd be aggressive. And that was good for the opening 10 minutes of the match in which we had one or two good opportunities. Beto should have scored. You know, he's a few yards out. He's got to find a net there. And you know what? Out of all the footballers who represented Everton today, Beto is the only one that I think really gets any credit whatsoever. Yes, he didn't score. Yes, he missed some good opportunities. He should have scored that uh, chance in the opening few minutes of the match. But at least he was trying. At least he was, you know, trying to... At least he was trying to get those Ever Everton fans that travelled to London something to cheer about. But in general, there was nothing to it. Other than that, everyone else was horrendous. Even Jordan Pickford, someone who I think has been an incredible... Uh, goalkeeper for Everton over the previous few years ever since he's joined Everton especially in these last few relegation battles he's been really good but horrendous today um, you know a very horrendous mistake horrendous mistake you can only say for Cole Palmer to get his hat trick why does he think passing it out into midfield where there are two Chelsea players standing right in front of him why did he think that was a good idea you know, in that moment in time, just get it up the pitch. You're out of go your goal. Get it up the pitch. Don't pass it to the to the Everton player that's got a few Chelsea players surrounding him. It was a stupid mistake, and honestly, um, kind of summarised Everton's first half display. But you can't say the second half was any better. The first half, you know, we were four nil down. We were down and out, and in the second half, it was just a case of making sure our goal difference wasn't too horrendous, leaving Stamford Bridge. But now we're level on goal difference with nine and forest before this game we were six goals clear in goal difference of nine and forest the only thing that's keeping us above them is the fact uh, that we are a point above them other than that we're not far off of being 17th and we've got to play them next and honestly with how we are at goodson park with how we are in front of goal with how we've been defensively especially in this game which is how the mood is around goodson park right now I'm not excited for that game. I'm not excited for any game now until the end of the season. Not even the Sheffield United game because by then, no doubt they'll be relegated. But only Everton could make a game against a horrendous Sheffield United team that's already relegated at our home ground, on our home turf. Only we could make that a difficult game for us. If we're going to win that game, it's going to be by one or two goals at most. Nothing more or less than that. <laughs> I keep moving back and forth between talking points of this match reaction. Honestly, if you want me to give an honest take on the entire game, opening 45, we were horrendous. You know, they walked right through us. And it wasn't, it's not necessarily just a case of it being Everton were horrendous. Chelsea were very good. Chelsea were very good. But Everton were also horrendous. And that, as a combination of both, led to a very deadly cocktail um, for Everton to consume over that opening 45. The second 45 wasn't much better. The only silver lining of the second half is that we didn't get a player sent off because there were a few that could have. Michael Keane, Ashley Young, James Tarkovsky, James Garner. I mean, James Tarkovsky probably should have been sent off. You know, he gave away a very stupid penalty and very, very unnecessary penalty to make it 5 0. Cone Palmer will never mess. The, the final goal of the game, I just think, you know, it built up to, you know, Chelsea bringing on their youngsters and Gilchrist, the youngster himself, scores. Very special player, very good player. Um, puts his heart and soul even into that 10 minutes of football he, that he was on the pitch and you could see what the goal meant to him. But only Everton could allow that to happen. There was no defending for that goal. Uh, you could, you know, some will argue that Jordan Pickford probably should have done better, should have uh, tried to get it out of the way of uh, Gilchrist, who was on coming on goal. But in general, where's his defense? You know, Jordan Pickford didn't have a good game today, but at the same time, what can he do for even the four other goals he conceded? Bar that one mistake for the Cole Palmer hat trick, the third one. In general, there's not much he could do for the other goals. He actually made one or two good saves in this game, but 
you know, you can't say a goalkeeper was great when he's conceded six goals, um, especially when he was uh, one of the reasons why we conceded one of those goals. Horrendous display. And you know what? If we go, if we get relegated, we deserve it. I don't care what anyone says. Nine and first on their day have a lot more balls than we do. Uh, the same can be said for Luton Town. And sometimes I wonder whether Burnley have more than what we've got. You know, to, to think that, yes, Burnley are not a good team, but we're only a few points above them when you really think about it. Teams like Sheffield United and Burnley have been heckled all season for their shite football, yet we as an Everton team have no right to speak because we're only a few points above them. Not good enough. Anyway, thanks for the support on Samuel Everton and hopefully we'll see you all in the next episode.